So let's continue with connective tissues. Bone is another example of connective tissue that has a strong matrix made up of calcium and phosphorus. It acts as a framework of the body and helps to bind vital organs and muscles in the respective places. It is a strong non-flexible tissue in our body, but it is a connective tissue. Another example is the ligament that connects one bone with another bone. It is elastic and has considerable strength also to prevent any traumatic damage that can happen to the bone. Now tendon is another type of connective tissue that connects the muscles with the nerve. So that helps you to experience a pain when you have any harm given to the elbows or when you accidentally fall down and you balance with your elbows. It has great strength but it has a limited flexibility. Cartilage is also a type of connective tissue with white space strong matrix which is made up of sugar and the proteins. It smoothens the bone surface at the joints and hence the joints do not have the frictional force and it is present in the nose, ears, larynx and trachea. Another type of connective tissue is areolar tissue which is present between the skin and the muscles. It is also present between the vessels, nerves and the bone marrow. Now, the fat storing adipose tissues as you all know is present between the skin and between the internal organs. The cells of this tissue is filled with fat globules and it also acts as an insulator. Too much of fat leads to obesity in human beings.